All right, what is up, my friends? Welcome to episode 73 of Mog Monday. I want you all to know, I, I just previewed the Skatoon theme song from Mog Monday on my stream. Um, it's coming. We're getting the video editor to make an awesome intro graphic. It's going to be like a, a 90s cartoon. An awesome theme song and intro every week. It's going to be really, really cool. I'm freaking pumped. The song is awesome. Skatoon is so great. Go check out Skatoon on YouTube if you haven't checked them out. Because they are phenomenal. Mod Monday, episode 73. Um, a prime number, apparently, as someone in chat is saying. Who's that? Uh, Wild Snivy in chat. Let me know if this is a prime numbered episode of Mod Monday. Nerd! Yeah. Very important. How are we Thanks so much, month number two, most important month. We're playing some Legacy today. We haven't played Legacy, um, like Legacy proper in a while. We've had Legacy be part of our Mod Monday challenges, but we've not had... Legacy be a primary feature here on Mod Monday for a while. So we're just playing some basic Legacy. Nothing crazy here. Uh, this is mostly like my approximate or my uh, my version of Goblin Lackey 1's list. Of course, Goblin Lackey 1 plays goblins all day, every day. For Goblin Lackey 1, every day is Mog Monday. So um, definitely some things I'm not really sure about on the list total, but we'll see. We'll see. And uh, it's not going to be a cartoon intro. I'm saying it'll be like that. Like a, you know, like it's a theme song for a show. You know, like the X-Men theme song. It's upbeat. It's got the cool songs, cool stuff happening. It should be cool. It should be cool. So, Legacy Goblins, um, of course, Legacy. The format where Goblins is really, really, really good for a really, really long time. We get our, our Rashad ports and our Aether Vials and our Wasteland. Super cool. Um, we're playing black here. We're playing black. Back in the day, I would never splash a color in my, my Goblins, except for sideboard cards. I would used to have Thalia, and I used to have, uh, like, Tinsford Hooligan and stuff. But um, we are playing black for Expert and Sling Gang Lieutenant. Expert, of course, and Gem Palm Incinerator kind of operate the same sphere um, with Expert being self-perpetuating in that it's a goblin itself. So if you have nothing else but an Expert, you can kill a 1-1. A one -one. Whereas if you have nothing else with, with Incinerator, you can't kill anything. But Incinerator is also a card advantage too. So a little split there. Sling Gang, still really, really good. And then, of course, Muxus. The old Mux Daddy is illegal in Legacy. Not in Modern, but in Legacy. Two Muxes is a lot. So it's not some things I'm not like totally sure about with the list. For the most part, this is Goblin Lackey 1's list. It is 60 cards, though, because I will not play 61. <laughs> Sorry, won't do it, Goblin Lackey 1. Won't do it. And um, I'm just going to jump in and start playing, honestly. I This is not exactly my list, so I don't have exact, you know, perfect reasons and stuff for all my card choices, because it's not all mine, honestly. So we're going to pop in with Goblin Lackey 1's mostly list here and battle here on Mog Monday Legacy. If you're pumped for Legacy, let me know in chat. Let me know in the YouTube comments. Mog Monday, let's go. Brought to you by... Cool Stuff Inc. is proud to sponsor Jim Davis. We offer great deals on card games, tabletop RPGs, board games, and more. Get a free token featuring Jim Davis and take 5% off your next order if you use the code JIM5 at checkout. CoolStuffInc.com. Cool stuff in stock. Yeah, speaking of CoolStuffInc.com, check out my article. Today's video article, 12 Crab Simic Mill. Crazy deck. Uh, wacky, wacky deck here. Good video, too. It's video starts off really rough, I'm not going to lie, but it builds to an explosive finish. It's a great, great one. Uh, check it out on CoolStuffInc.com, my video article, CoolStuffInc.com. No one's playing Legacy with us? I already ran an ad. I bumped the article. What else can I do? Plus years of awesome content. Keep up the great work. Dead Sands Resub. Thanks so much. Appreciate that. Um, yeah, let's let's go. Legacy. Come on, Legacy. Come on, Legacy Q. You can do it. We're also brought to you by Colos Apparel. Colos Apparel Lot Shop. Promo code Jim10. 10% off your order. Colos Apparel Lot Shop. Easy as 127. Get your Power Driver shirt. Get your Power Driver shirt from Mog Monday. Other great shirts as well. Promo code Jim10. 10% off your order. There I am. You can get a custom shirt if you want. The normal shirt has my name on it with 84, but if you want to, you can spend a little more money. It's a little, a little pricey, but it's obviously a custom item for your own name and number on that shirt as well. Colosapparel.shop. Check it out. BCW. Come on, Wild. Is that, is that, a, is that a, a setup for me? On the play, let's go. Uh, not a very good hand. Not a very good hand on the play here. Um, no Lackey, no Vile. Um, yeah, we're going to mulligan this. I think if it was like a prospector in this hand, like maybe we consider it because we have Cavern and Muxus, but pretty mopey hand. You're going to mulligan. That is uh, definitely better. Definitely better. We're going to keep... What do we dump here? It's probably going to be Warchief or Matron. Probably just Matron. 
What's up, Unicorn? Glad you liked it. I think it's Warchief. It's the hardest card to cast, and uh, we want Lockie. We want Jampon to push it through if Log possible. Monday and theme song is awesome. Thanks for sharing. Thanks, Unicorn. Appreciate the resub. You great. You great. Pawn also mulligan six. We're on the play, so maybe we'll get this Lockie through. I feel like Lockie never gets through. What's up, Pamela? I recover from the tilt. Which tilt would that be? They're going to upkeep once upon a time. So probably like the Turbo Depths whatever deck. And they're probably trying to play around days, I guess. It's probably a no-lander. No Putrid Imp has been called. Putrid Imp. Uh, okay. So I guess like... Reanimator Dredge? I don't, I don't even know. Honestly. All right, whatever. Um, we're going to get... I highly doubt this is a Wasteland deck. If they're playing... I mean, they could be like... They, I don't even know. Honestly, Reanimate or something. Uh, I'm going to get Badlands. I doubt we're getting Wastelanded, so... Ideally, our Lackey's going to get through. So, Hogak. The old Gak. What's up, Jarvis? Yeah, I haven't played much Legacies. I have no idea what's going on in Legacy. The old Gak. The dirty Gaks in Legacy. Makes sense. Oh, Putrid Imp. Get out the way. Get out of my way. Let's draw Muxus, please. Muxus, please. Alright, so we're going to... Uh, cycle Gem Bomb. It's not often in Legacy your Gem Bomb actually kills a creature on turn 2 for your lackey, but... We'll take it. We'll take it. What's up, Canary? They discard a Vengevine in response to my gem bomb. Uh, sure. We hit a Mog War Marshal. Not the best, uh, not the best lackey hitter. Now, the problem is, like, we lackey hit here, and we put in Matron or War Marshal. But our lackey's probably not going to hit again. Um... So, like, getting something like Muxus seems pretty crazy. If we feel lucky, we get, like, another Gem Palm. Like, if they return these Venge Vines next turn, like, Lackey's just never getting through ever again. Um, maybe just Ringleader. Petrium can block. It can't block if it has Threshold. No Threshold yet, though. Um, we could just get Ringleader, because we're going to Marshal next turn, and then Ringleader. So, like, if they, like, get back Venge Vine, we can just block it and Marshal and stuff. Um... Once upon a time, Vengevine Putrid Imp. Definitely a, a, a weird selection of cards so far. Yeah, I mean, I'm going to get Ringleader. Like, we, um, if the thing does hit next turn in the unlikely scenario, but it does, putting a Ringleader is fine. And then if we just, like, play Marshall next turn, block a Vengevine, then hardcast Ringleader the following turn, it's also fine too, so. Swamp, Swamp, Altar of Dementia. Oh my god, we're going to hit with Lackey again. What in the world is happening? Aether Vial. Alright, well now we're interested in porting and stuff too, so just get in. We're going to put a uh, Ringleader into play. What's up, Zan? How's it going, my friend? Mostly just a standard. This is a pretty basic Goblin deck. Oh my god. Welcome to Mog Monday. <laughs> Alright, so we're gonna port them and play Vile. Just another Mog Monday. Alright, so honestly drawing Vile Vassar was not that bad. Being able to play Vile and port and to keep developing our board is pretty great, so. Polluted Delta, sure. And they ain't doing much. Uh they ain't doing much here. So if we um hmm. Yeah, like we could like ringleader, prospector. We could fire off ringleader and try and spike a Muxus off of our for our lackey. Um then we could just put in the Patrick Bonds if we don't, we have Prospector also. Um 
Well, this is too bad. I like that. So ringleader trying to hit a Muxus. Try hit a Mux, Daddy. Let's go. Come on now. I really hate my opponents don't cooperate with my soundboard. I'm, I'm trying to make some hype here and trying to make things, you know, really get going. And they just don't hit the button on time. All right, so Matron and War Marshal. Sure. I think they're actually, now they're actually dead. Because now we can put in Pashik Mons, put in Prospector, make mana, and just kill them. So, pretty sure they're dead now. Uh, move to combat. Kind of love Mog War Marshal. Looking at those tiny, tiny eyes, and I just... Alright, so, uh, you're dead. You're dead. Pagic Mons is in. Prospector is in. And we just cast our entire hand, and, uh... Ping them all along the way. Save targets... Just another Mog Monday. Cranko Token Fun Day. Uh, Patrick Mons is kind of cool. Pashalik. You dead yet? Yeah. Yeah. Game. So weird first game there. Blouses. Our opponent looks like they're playing like a fun cube draft deck out of a pretty cool cube. Uh, we're going to bring in our graveyard hate, I guess. Borg! Good morning, Jim. Super pumped for a Mog Monday. As oh. much as I love the limited content, there's just nothing like some modern legacy content on a Monday morning. Awesome, my friend. What's up, Borg? Happy to have you. Whoa, 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 whoa. Got this idea from a Johnny Boy underscore I a Rocket League pastor. Have a bunch of viewers summit. Clips of them or other people rage quitting as fast as possible and then going thought. Each one live and have your stream vote on the top 10 fastest rage quits. Wait, what? Top 10 fastest magic rage quits? Wouldn't that, I can't see my opponents, right? So what's the, I don't understand. Talk to me more in chat. Let me know, let me elaborate. Siri voices isn't very uh, isn't very clear. All right, so um, we're gonna bring all of our graveyard hate and our crocus. I would assume. Um, is that an ad? I mean, they're gonna pay. They look. They're gonna pay pay, pay, pay five dollars for a, t a two second ad on my stream. Ship the money. All right, ship the money. Let's go. Um, all right, so yeah, we're bringing all this stuff. I don't think you want pithy needle, chain whirler, no, power kinesis, no. It's probably should have like a ringleader or two because they're like probably a little more combo-y. Um, crater maker. Uh, clips people rage painting as fast as possible. It's like you can't really see that. Like it, I, it, your opponent conceding could be them raging or be them just being like, okay, I lost to go to the next game. You know, it's not really like to know that. You know, so like I, I think it loses a little bit of a, a little bit of that match if you can't see them. You know. Needle turns off altar. Yeah, I'm gonna guess. Uh, I'm bringing in a land too. I mean, they they got all basics that game. Maybe we can call like a wasteland or two. And they're not killing our lands either. I don't think. So take out two of those. Take out the ringleader and the crater maker. I think this is good. Um, pretty happy. I don't know if we need needle or not. I haven't actually played against uh, played against um, Hogak in Legacy before, so this is like a, a historic hand. Yeah, sure, we can do this. Just turn three Muxus. Neil turns off Carrion Feeder. I mean, I guess it's true. Turns off Marsh Flats too, you know. Swamp. Putrid Imp. Okay. Goblin pile driver. Whoa, no, no, not Aetherborn. Do not select Aetherborn, Jim. Come on now. Waka waka. Prospector go. Will their hand be better this time? It's like the old modern deck with careful study and cabal therapy. 
Why are they playing putrid though? Like, doesn't make sense. Eighth and Reborn Monday. This card, Bloodgast. I mean, I love Bloodgast. I mean, Bloodgast. Me and Bloodgast are like like this. I love Bloodgast. I built a super sweet modern deck um, for a freshly brewed recently. It was Modern Rakdos Sacrifice. Super cool deck. Look for it on my YouTube. I gotta update that and play it more. Another Moxes. All right. So uh, this can't block. So I guess we're getting in. I can't imagine they have some sort of like. They bask root wall on me here. I mean, take me to town. Seriously. Is this a better. Is this, is this actually like a legacy power level start, though? Like, I mean, it looks like my my uh, my modern deck. You know, like, well, what is this? It's fine. Let's take up. Just gonna mux next turn. Let it ride. Like, this is not. It looks like they're playing a cube draft deck from, like, a Synergy Cube. You know? They have some cards. Like, I mean, these cards are in my cube. Future Dim, Blood Guest, Gravecrawler, sure. Like, there has to be some sort of a... Something more going on here. Something more than this. All right, we're going to block, because we're going to knock a pack up anyway, so sure. Please tell me there's more opponent. Like the worst gak hands of all time. Delta for Badlands. Uh, okay. What's the red for? All right. Well, you know, you know what they say, folks. What do they say? Why don't you tell me in chat what they say? A little, little audience participation here. What is it that they that they say? Red for looting. Mm -hmm. No, not Mox this time. What is it that they say? No. Mox is for a time. That's, that is good. Daddy's home. Ninja's got it. Let's go. Come on, Moxus. Here we go. Can't be countered. This works too. <laughs> Alright. Uh, sure. It's a medium. It's like a, a B minus. B minus. Would have preferred. Uh, would have preferred experts, I suppose. But sure. I mean, most of their stuff can't block anyway. So attack you. Almost lethal. And they just block the Muxus and take eight. If, if M couldn't block, it'd be great. But it can, unfortunately, because they don't have any graveyard. Because they're not doing the things you're supposed to do. I guess. Boom, 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 Discarding a Vengevine. And? And a Vengevine. That's scary. And a bridge from below. That's scary. Am I gonna, am I gonna die here, am I? That's a lot more power than I expected to have come back on the, on the backswing. Uh, we're 18. I guess probably not, right? Nope. Okay, sure. Okay. That was the... <laughs> Blouses. The least interesting match of Magic I've played in a really long time. Um, if we had been playing like standard goblins, you probably would have won. So, uh, sure. I mean, I, I guess that was Hogak. Yeah. Why don't I save the Prospector and cast the Marshal? I mean, you could have done that. Sure. It's fair. It's fair. I mean, like, we still have Prospector in play after Moxus thing, which I guess has, has some pretty good value with like matrons and stuff. That's probably a better play. You're right. Probably better to have processor in play than more martial in hand. You know, when you're right, you're right. When you're right, you're right. If you haven't followed, share that follow button. Of course, watching on YouTube, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Please take 10 seconds out of your day. You're not busy. You're on YouTube procrastinating watching YouTube videos. So hit that like button, sub the channel, and uh, drop a comment. Let me know. Um, put the word, uh, put the words "daddy, daddy's home" in all capital letters in the uh, in the comments for me. Just take a second, scroll down while wait, 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 this match here, right? And um, yeah, we're here with match number two. Let's go. Lost the die roll. No problem. And all you live folks on Twitch, I mean, we played the Mog Monday theme song in the intro. It was a special preview. Um, so all you all got to hear that. Scott Tune Network killed it. Killed it. It slays. 20 seconds long. And we're having my uh, my editor, Maddie B, make me a, um, uh, a video for it. So every... Hopefully starting next Monday, but no promises. Might be two, might be two Mondays. We're going to have an intro and a theme song and uh, everything for every Mog Monday going forward. It's going to be awesome. 
kind of be awesome. All right. Um, this hand is fine. We're going to keep. I don't love it, but we have Lackey and Expert. Push it through in theory. We have a Cavern of Souls. Ooh. Fellow Chucker, eh? Um, it should be pretty good for us, honestly. I could see us getting Lackey through here. This is the benefit of Expert over, over Gem Palm in that if they play a Stoneforge here, we can actually kill it with the Expert. So... If you missed it, I know you missed it. Well, you will see it, uh, you will hear it next week, hopefully. If not in two weeks, it is it is awesome. Scotty Network is so great. This person is pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever. Rashad and Port, yeah, sure. That's actually kind of annoying. So they have Mother of Ruins, maybe? They don't play the 1 2, do they? That'd be really, really embarrassing. Goblins, Legacy. Just a new other mug Monday. Glad it's not Sunday. <laughs> Pizza, reset. Thanks so much. All right, well, I guess give me Mother Ruins or give me Death here. Episode 100, do a song live. I, I mean, I'm not Scott 2 Network, so I can't, I can't do that. All right, Laggy's got a Resolve, which is pretty sweet. Um, we're going to put in, I guess just Ringleader. And then we're going to decide if we're going to play Vile or play another Laggy. Oh, Muxus. Oh, Daddy. All right, um, we're going to play Land Laggy here. So I think it's very likely we can push it through next turn. Um, if we if we hadn't hit Muxus and there wasn't a high priority on trying to hit with a Lackey next turn, I would just play Vile. And I think against Dead and Daxes, you can easily win the long game. Um, you, you grind so much better. So, But because we drew Muxus and we wanted to get Lackey in, we're just going to jam. We're just going to jam. For sure, McIntyre. I mean, it's, you know... Everything's serendipity. You know, I had contacted Empty Jeremy to do the, do the song, and obviously I think uh, I'm happier with uh, what Scottie was able to do. Because Scottie really took it. It doesn't sound like Manic Monday anymore. Scottie gave it a life I never knew it had, which I'm super, super pumped about. It's so cool. All right, so they're going to have a recruiter for a Stoneforge Mystic, um, and we are going to destroy them. Uh, destroy them. Another expert, too. Wow. We're going to jam. And they're going to vial in Stoneforge. We're going to Munitions Expert it, expert it and then we're going to uh, then we're going to put in Muxus, and then we're going to win the game. We're going to win the game. Umazawa's GTA. Sure. Kai, I've reset. Thanks so much. You're on the draw, draw this game, too. Usually lackeys aren't, aren't this good on a draw against Creature Dex, but must be nice. Must be nice. Game. Blouses. I'm sorry, drivers. You're saying this person was good? <laughs> I'm sure they're very good. Uh, all right, so we're going to bring in Pyrokinesis, Trash Master, Chain Whirler, uh, probably Tarfire too. And what are we going to cut here? What are we going to cut? Pile drivers are gone. We'll cut two of those. We got a Prospector. Hehehehe. <laughs> Hope you're doing well, Jarvis. Jarvis, how much do you miss going to events? Like, for real. It's just like... I, I played two online tournaments this weekend, and it freaking sucks. Freaking sucks. Uh-huh. Like, I just want to go to a tournament hall and just, like, shuffle some cards and hang out with everyone and go have, have some drinks afterwards and, like, you know... Online tournaments are just so slow and streaming them is just terrible and, like... They're fine, I guess, but... Maybe it's just, like, the juxtaposition, you know... Paper Magic will definitely recover. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. What am I kind of cutting here? I'm not going to mux this probably because they just have land structure and stuff. Yeah, just for sure. Like, give me some old tournaments back, you know? Sling Gang. I want Patrick Mons. War Chief's pretty good. I want all their removal spells. I want the War Marshals. Could cut down to zero Pile Drivers, but I like, I like to leave in one. I like to leave in one, usually. Maybe we just don't need it, though. Maybe we just don't, just don't need it. Marvin says, man plays cycling in an online tournament. I mean, it wasn't the fact that I played the deck that I played or misclicked out of a tournament like an idiot. It just, like, took so long. You know, every round just takes forever. Having to having to slog through Melee and then Discord and then things for coverage and then waiting for this to... It's just, like, it's just so non-elegant, um, um, grokkable, uh, whatever, like, the word is that makes things enjoyable. You know, it's lacking all of those things. Um, 
I'd say Mon's basically the sharpshooter shot. Yeah, sharp, sharp, shoot, sharp shooter slot. Clunky, yeah, the opposite of clunky. Um, yeah, we'll kill all, all pile drivers. I think it's good. I think it's pretty good. Tedious, sure, sure. It's just like, and it's it's to no fault of the organizers, you know. Like Charizard, James, and James and the and the crew ran they ran, they ran the best tournament they could, you know. Like it's not their fault. It's just like there's no tournament mode in arena. There's no easy way to make tournament make matches in arena. There's no spectator mode in arena. Like it's just a disaster, you know. Like and it just you have to you have to run through seven different programs trying to do a tournament. Like it just sucks. Like it just sucks. All right. Um, we have a weird hand here. So we have. The lackey and the power cases to push it through, but nothing to put in. We do have four lands, a wasteland, and a port. I'm going to keep this. I think this is fine. Power cases is pretty good. No one drop? Wow. Right. Expert. Okay. That's a card. That's a card. Like, I don't know what it is. Any of the last few? Swords? Sure. Um... Back in my day, we used a megaphone and a table. And you wrote the pairings by hand. Thalia. That card's not very good against us, sure. Um, I should be porting. We just announced nothing. No. All they announce is secret layers and stuff. Like, Arena should have a lot more things than it does right now. Arena was so, so awesome when it came out, but they have not been updating it or adding new things to it or improving it as time's gone on, and it's gotten pretty frustrating. Um, I mean, just port here. Their hand's kind of slow regardless. And just playing a Prospector and saying go is pretty bad. I kind of hold Prospector for Parkinson's anyway, so... Guru Plains, a little less pricey, a little less pricey. I don't mean to be negative. It's just like obviously frustrating. Yeah, like I love I love Arena too, and I think Arena's I think Arena's one of the best the best things to happen to Magic in the last decade by like a lot. But they're just not taking the next steps. All right, so they're just gonna we're just gonna take the, take this turn off. Sure, I mean this is fine. We can obviously just cast Expert and kill Thalia if you like really want to. I was gonna play a uh, prospector though, right? Do I want to hold prospector for uh, for power kinesis? Maybe I do. Yeah, I'll just say go. Good news is that we're kind of wasteland proof because we have so many lands. Caracas. It's pretty funny. So now we can't like kill Thalia super easily because they have Caracas. Sure. Recruiter of the Guard. Sure. Let's see what they're getting here. Let's see what they're getting here. They get a Stoneboard Mystic. Sure. So, maybe we just kill... Uh... No, nah, we'll kill the Stoneboard, I guess. So, we'll Wasteland the Caracas and just kill Stoneboard and then play it next turn. I guess we could actually... We could actually pyrokinesis the Stoneforge, the Recruiter, and the Thalia. That's pretty pretty sweet, actually. Let's untap, draw, Matron. Yeah. All right. That's fine. Give him Wastelands. They go. Arena's great. Like, I, I love drafting in Arena. I love playing on Arena. The Obviously, the monetization model, it's a little, could use a little work, you know. But the thing, it's just like, it just could use a little work. And tournament structure gives a little work. Deck builder gives a little work. It's great. The core of the game is great, but they're not—they're just not putting the work in. You know? Come on now. Play that Stoneforge Mystic. Let's go. All right, they're gonna play land and play Stoneforge Mystic, and they're gonna get Umazawa's Jite. Because this costs one mana, we should probably just do it now. Yeah, because we're going to play cast major next turn. So we're going to go 2 1 1. Pay a mana. Exile Prospector. Oh, yeah! Get off my plane. Get out of here. Wooded Foothills. Um, sure. 
Kaboom! Matron for... He's a ringleader, honestly. Ringleader. They got four cards in hand. We have an expert to kill their next creature. Obviously, they have a, an Umazawa's GTA, but we can try and get around that. What's this card? Pyrokinesis. This is the red force of will. And you exile a red card to deal four damage as you choose. It is a very, very good magic card, but hard to use if you don't have card advantage in your deck. And most, most red decks don't. They're going to flicker with. Please target my matron. <laughs> if you would. No? All right, fine. All right, so you probably need to, need to leave an expert in case they, so they can't. GTA us. Mother of Runes too. Wow. They weren't playing around the power cases, were well. that'd be insane. All right, untap. Uh, another expert? Sure, so we'll just kill both things, I guess. Um, uh, yeah, I mean, black, red. Expert, the mother. Playing goblins versus taxes is really fun. You get to kill all their stuff. Old school legacy, I know, right? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. What are you gonna do? You gonna do it? You gonna do it? You gonna do it? Get off my plane. Get out of here. Get out of here. Is there a white force of will that stops damage? I guess there is. It's just, there's Shining Shoal, right? If we get Shining Shoal here, I will do a backflip on stream. Um, because that would be freaking awesome. All right, um, Aether Vial, sure, we'll fetch. I should've gotten Badlands, that was stupid, whatever. Um, doesn't really matter with all the things you haven't played, but. Oh my God! <laughs> Bingo! All right. All right. Um, oh, they conceded, we win. <laughs> After it was all over, he took us in the house to serve his pancake. Easy game. Two up. Ringleader. Ringleader's on. Ringleader's on his game today. Ringleader came to play. Ringleader came to play. Came to play. Can you believe it? Can you believe it? Let's hear it for God, Ringleader. That's what I'm talking about. Scars of the veteran. Oh, wow. What, I actually used the white force as well. Five mana instant. You may exile a white card from your hand rather than pay its cost. Prevent the next seven damage that will be dealt any target this turn. If it's a creature, put a plus zero, plus one counter on it for each one damage prevented this turn, beginning of the next end step. How about that? Scars of the Veteran. There it is. There it is. Scars of the Veteran. It's like a mixture of Shining Shoal and um, Test of Faith. We didn't need that ringleader to hit all four goblins there. We were way ahead that game. If we get two or one, it'd be fine, you know? All right, Mog Monday, 2-0, 2-0, 2-0. On all folks in chat who heard the Mog Monday theme song, you tell everyone who didn't hear it how awesome it was. Ready, set, go. Go. Yes, there's a, there's a force for every color. What's the, is the black one contagion? Um, That's like the minus two, minus one counters on two creatures, right? Y'all missed out. Y'all missed out. Contagion, yes, Contagion. I know my old Magic cards. MTG Paper Boomer. On Masks from Masks. There was another set of them in, in, in Masks. It was Misdirection, uh, Unmask, Cave-In. Uh, and of course, the white one's totally unforgettable. Um, <laughs> I don't know. All right, so uh, another kind of sneaky hand here. We're on the draw. This hand's pretty bad. We're going to mulligan. Right, of course, there's the forces of modern horizons too, but uh, we're gonna mulligan. Somebody's playing a prank on me. All right, uh, yeah, not a very good hand here, but let's ship the crater maker and probably war chief. Maybe sling gang too, honestly. What was the white one in masks? 
I'm gonna get rid of Sling Gang. Sling Gang's like it's okay. It seems less important in Legacy than in Modern. What's up, Jones? It's another Mog Monday. Okay. Um, Windswept Heath, go. No, Mog Theme's not on YouTube. Not yet. I'm working on having a video made for like an actual intro for it. It's going to be awesome. Uh, it's being worked on right now. So is a Mog Monday logo. I hope to have those things maybe done by like off stream today. Probably not though, but soon. Hashtag soon. Hashtag soon. Miss playing Legacy. Honestly, Magic Online is the best way, best way to play Legacy. Like Magic Online is the best way to play the older formats because the cards aren't handsomely expensive. What is this? Basic Plains Windswept Heath? It's like a Maverick deck? Is this is this the year 2013? What is going on? Sylvan Library. Okay, sure. You got it. Mog War Marshal. I don't want to get Wastelanded. Uh, this is part of the downside of playing black in your goblin deck because I really can't afford to get Wastelanded here. In the games that are not vile, you need to play mana. You need to make mana. So... Um, but also not be able to cast experts pretty terrible too. <sighs> All right, let's just hold our black. Still not entirely like, like expert was very good last game. I mean, gem bomb would have also been good in most of those spots. Silver library, sure. To the library. Mox Diamond. Oh, God. This player's definitely going to have playing Engineer in their deck. Thespian Stage. Knight of the Reliquary. Yeah, that's... Uh, this is some, some real boomer magic right here. All right, well, now we can just kill the Reclaimer. Oh, no, we can't. Never mind. So they have three lands in the graveyard. Oh, we're dead. All right. Um, right. I guess we have the Wasteland, right? I mean, they have the knight too. They can just like make a twenty twenty next turn, no matter what, right? Because you have to like wait until they by kill stage. They would just like go get stage, go get depths, and do it. This costs two. This is free. Generates a mana. Um, and then if I I have to just like hold wasteland, wait till they activate the stage, targeting the depths. And then that only buys me a turn anyway. Yeah, we're in trouble here, folks. We're in trouble. Um, all right, so there you go, I guess. They have library going too. Yeah, we're a big dude. We didn't all get a five this game, so it's fine, I guess. Uh, I'm in danger. What's up, Stu? Um, they keep a card. Go to ten. Problem is we just can't do anything. So we need to leave up this uh, this war chief at all times. I mean, war chief. Leave up the wasteland at all times. They can just start wastelanding us too. So we're we're in big trouble. We are in big doo doo. All right, make a white. Like, they can just get Wasteland, Wasteland here and just, like, pop us out of the game, right? Because they, they just waste our Wasteland and then they can just do it. Yeah, so we're just, like, super dead. Now we Wasteland this, they just get response. Yeah, we're just dead. All right. Tough game. Tough game. Um, we didn't all get a five on the draw, so it's fine, I guess. All right, we're going to bring in. We're going to bring in. We're going to bring in. Um, they probably have a lot of Wastelands in our deck. I don't know what any of these deck lists are. 
Um, could have Plague Engineer too. Let's bring in a couple relics. Bring in, bring in the needle. Am I interested in surgical extraction? Maybe because I can waste if I can if I can waste or they sacrifice a stage or whatever. Oh, Krakus is good, sure. Um, we're cutting slow stuff. Could not take out two ringleaders. I think Moxus is actually fine if we can just like get it off. Um, crater maker is probably not necessary. And then. No Sting Scorger. Yeah, I mean, no Sting Scorger. What are you going to do? Um, Patrick Mons is bad. Let's have a Sling Gang, too. Just... Uh... I mean, like, we are a four Wasteland pretty fast deck, so. Unfortunately, their creatures were just, like, out of range of Expert that game. If we had two more cards, like, maybe our creatures would have not been out of range of Expert, so. Let's try this, I guess. Hopefully they're not a Plague Engineer. What's up, Map Hacker? On the play, let's go. I missed a big weekend. Of what? All right, let's go. Let's go. This hand's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. Surgical's like pretty thin, I think. Could be okay, but like probably gonna be mostly mediocre. To mock legacy, yes, yes, yes. Nice to see what Goblin used to do before they started working at Green Guts. No! <laughs> Alright, um we're gonna just play mountain, I guess. There you go. Little lackey, little lackey man. All bark, someone else's bite. Don't tell Karn. Because he'll start barking. Why Tarfire ever bolts? Because Tarfire is a goblin. You can get it with Matron, hit it off Ringleader. Sylvan Library, turn one, discarding Dark Depths. I guess Mock, the presence of Mox Diamond, is a definitely a count towards bringing in surgical um that's a thing that's a thing needle okay um obviously can't waste line of flagstones we can needle thespian stage i guess not a great lackey hand unfortunately <laughs> i wish our lackey was better here we did board out some of our bigger our bigger things but Just gonna get a bad lens. Just name stage, I think. See you in it, resub. Goblin rhyme runner is the best foil goblin. It's like the surfing goblin, right? Goblin rhyme runner, cold snap. All right, they kept both cards to go to 11 life. Another Mox Diamond. Discarding Thespian Stage, sure. They have four cards in hand now. They have a Knight of the Luck right here. We'll just draw Muxus something. Matron, Muxus something, Ringleader. Or Aether Vial. Um, this sucks. Guess we're just gonna like squeeze damage through so we can uh, have them not be able to library anymore. So they can block and trade with the pile driver or block a lackey. Could have swords, that'd be bad for us, but what are you gonna do? They have swords for lackey. Savannah. Savannah? That's greedy. 
green crop rotation flagstones. So they could have killed my pile driver. Uh, I guess they have swords here, though. They're going to crop rotate and get a planes. Another savannah. It's like draw a relic. Be cool. And they're going to crop rotation for a wind step teeth. Inconceivable! Sure. I guess that makes sense. Then they get planes. They sword to the lackey because they're scared of lackey. Little did I know that there's no goblins anywhere close to our hand. Um, so take five, go to four, and play vile. And I guess we're wasting here. I mean, like, it's not. They only have one card in. They have a bunch of mana. Maybe we just don't waste. Actually, like, they just have infinite mana and no cards in hand, and we can draw ringleader, Muxus, etc. So. All right. I mean, we've turned off the uh, the old combo. Maybe those misclick and die to Sylvan Library. That'd be pretty cool, right? Oh, stretch. Got to stretch. Ooh. Yeah, there we go. Mm. Oh. Skyclave Apparition. Targeting probably my needle. Oh, boy. Pile driver. All right. So they're just going gonna to beat down here. That is a viable strategy. That's a viable strategy. Guess who's back? Back again. All right, sure. So they are... Uh, Sylvan Library. Yeah, I mean, uh, honestly, our best chance to win was probably the misclicking there because we're in big duty right now. Draw like ringleader into Marshall. That'd be pretty sweet. Oh my god, man, this is embarrassing. We're just dying to like mopey creatures. Big spell here. Come on, ringleader. Let's go. Did I board out your ringleaders? I did, didn't I? Maybe I missed value the matchup, maybe. I don't know. All right, we're dead. I mean, what are you going to do? We're going to wasteland our own lands. Oh, we're so funny. <laughs> All right, tough tough match there. Obviously, they got us real quick in game one of the mulligan to five, and that game didn't pan out super well for us. Um, I don't know. That was pretty good. They had a lot of mox diamonds and stuff. Not sure. Not sure on that one. What do y'all think, chat? What do y'all think about that match? Did I screw up? I feel like those matchups are usually good. Um, but what are you going to do? What are you going to do? Round four coming up Mog Monday. Brought to you by bcwsupplies.com. BCW Supplies, best slaves in the market. Not close. The Elite 2 deck card sleeve. Check out BCW Supplies. We also got the uh, the deck lockers, inner sleeves, binders, card sorting trays. All the supplies you could ever need. Ever, ever need. So you can sort your collection while you're getting ready to get back out there. BCWsupplies.com, promo code Jim 10 10% off your order. BCWsupplies.com. Check it out. Check it out. What's up, 33? What's up, Terry? Arc Life Phoenix holds up separately. Yes, yes. That is, <laughs> that is correct. Let's go. Gonna do a drafting stream tomorrow, I think. Um, a lot of work to do behind the scenes, honestly. I've really, really been doing that. Love some mogs. New bungo. What's up? D Carmon, what's up, my friend? Jimbo, good morning from SoCal. Morning. Top of the morning to ya. Q times. Come on, Q times. Let's go. My cubing later? Nah. Just a mog Monday today. Cubing not during the holidays feels wrong, you know? Like maybe I'll do a cube, but it feels like a holiday thing. It's like a relax in the holidays kind of thing. All right, let's go. Match number four. <laughs> Modern mogs that I know. No, no, no. Mulligan. Sure. It's not great. Not happy about it, but let's ship the Warchief. 
I feel like this, uh, what is this? Bayou Aether Vial? What? It's like slivers or something? All right, Goblin Lackey. Bayou Aether Vial has been called. Bayou Aether Vial. Look, I guess Vial on turn one, any of these games. I guess I like these, though. Underground Sea, Bayou. Living Wish. What is going on? What's up, Fnatic? Cephalid Illusionist. Are we playing Extended? What's happening right now? All right. Um, obviously, draw Vial on turn two. What was this girl? Cephalid Breakfast? What is this? So you like target this infinite times mill your entire deck. It's breakfast time. It's breakfast time. Um, so they have to have like a, an in core here or something like that. Uh, I mean, we're going to play land and attack. Fortunately, our lackey isn't anything good to put in really. This is old school. This is extended like 50 years ago. Back in my day. All right, we're just going to put in Matron and, like, probably get Muxus, honestly. So I feel like we can get Muxus through if we have the Gem Palm and Expert. And we just, like, can't play Vile because we have to hold up our Gem Palm. All right, here we go. Do they have the uh, the Encore creature to Vile in? No? Okay. Okay. Yeah, for those who have no idea what's going on, if you weren't born, you know, a thousand years ago, this creature says that if you target it, you mill three cards. And there are certain effects like Nomad and Core, which can target it infinite times. And uh, if they have two illusionists here, we're dead. If they vile Umazawa's Jite. Uh, that's a problem. Okay. Why? I guess there's a Stoneforge deck too. That's pretty annoying. So we can't jump on here. Those Violet didn't kill us. Uh, I guess they can't kill us. They can't kill us at the end of their turn. Right? Probably not. Because it requires you to cast like Dread Return and stuff. I would assume. I don't even know what the combo is anymore. But. So obviously if we can get Muxus through, that would be pretty sweet. All right. I think we're going to kill the Nomad and Core end step. They could have like the thing that we can shuffle back certain cards or whatever. I we might just lose here, but I, I don't know what else to do, honestly, because we're just like, we need to do something against the Jit because the Jit is, uh, the Jit is putting a bunch of pressure on us. So hopefully they just can't win at instant speed. Um, they could probably have the like the flashback card that does the. Uh, I guess we're getting, we're getting narcos too. That's fair. We probably just punted honestly, but I, I don't know what we can do. It's like if we just say go with with the uh, gem palm up again, they can just equip the the Jite and we have to kill it or we lose, and then we lose to the combo anyway. So I think we're uh, I think we're pretty uh, pretty dead here. You can see the whole deck though. Living wish brainstorm. Cabal Therapy, Force of Will, Ponder, Thassa's Oracle. Dread Return, Narcomiva. Yeah, we'll use the ability. So now they, have, they just left three cards in their deck. They don't have a... Oh, they, they have the return, too. So if I can kill a bunch of creatures this turn somehow, it'd be really cool. Probably can't do that, but... Draw. Cavernous Souls. All right. Um, like... We just can't beat the Jite or the combo, so... I don't think it really matters what we do. They're just gonna let it through. 
All right. I mean, like, we could just spike a pretty sick Muxus here and just hit, like, Sling Gang, Pashik Mons, a bunch of War Marshals and kill them. So, let's do it, I guess. Crater Maker, Matron, Warchief. Okay. Um. Thanks, JD. If we get like Pashik Mons, we can sack Crater Maker to kill two creatures, and then maybe they can't. Um, Cash to return. You want to give away a shirt? Damn. I'm going to hype up the... Uh, I'm playing a tournament uh, at the end of the month. I'll hype that up in a second once I figure out this difficult decision. Um, so, Pashik Mons kills two things. I mean, Expert plus Crater Maker also kills two things. Um, if I get Gym Palm, that also kills two things. But, like, they have two cards in hand. They only have... They have three Stone Forge in the bin. It's possible they're playing three. Destroying Jitae isn't, isn't, isn't as, as important anymore because um, we can just beat them. So only three, three cards. Right? They can't kill us in three turns with Jitae. Um, the fourth Narco is not in their graveyard. That's very possible that card's in their, in their hand. Uh, I don't think we can kill more than two creatures here, though. Like... So we're, we're constrained on mana. If we get prospector we can like cast all the things in our hand it doesn't do anything um if we get it's Patrick Mons cost two it's probably just Patrick Mons um don't bother trying to stop to return we just lose what do you mean like they they, they get back the uh the oracle and we die so like, that's we we need to stop to return. Um, they didn't block too, so like, there's certainly um, certainly means that they might not have another creature because if they block, they're scared. It's like hitting with Lackey is like a way we can win the game here when we're so far behind. And like like we hit all five of these goblins, right, or four of these goblins. So like them not blocking might just mean that I have another creature. So. Kill, kill, kill the Oracle on the stack. It's not, it's not good enough, though. They'll have, they'll have two Devotion next turn. We can't kill three things. So, um, all right. I think it's just Patrick Munz. I think it's just Patrick Munz. And I think we just play Pashik Mons. And then we kill. Should I kill two Narcos? Yeah. If I target Nomad and Corbin, kill something else, so. Alright, I mean, we'll see. I don't know if it's good enough or not, but. Isn't killing Oracle good enough if they don't have another Arco? No, they'll have two cards in her deck, and they'll see two cards with the, with the two Devotion. So, all right, hold on to your butts, folks. I think there's a chance you win this game. All four losers are accounted for. They have Stoneforge Mystic, so we're dead. So they had the fourth Mystic in their hand. All right. I mean, that's fine. I think they actually gave ourselves a chance to win, which is kind of cool. Um... They did kill us on turn basically. They kill us on turn on three on turn three, turn four, I guess. 
Um, this should be that bad of a matchup for us. We can we can definitely do this. So they got us. It's fine. All right. So um, kill us on turn four on the play. If we're on the play of the game, we easily win that game. Like easily. So we bring in trash master pyrokinesis um chain whirler surgical like our entire deck is good against them so or cyborg i mean relic tower fire why no snoops why do you want snoop remember folks whenever you're gonna ask me why a card isn't in a deck you better telling me why you think it should be because i didn't put it in in the first place so why snoop um Shave Muxus. Shave two ringleaders. A lot of cards to cut, honestly. Uh, Pile Driver's pretty good. Crater Maker's pretty important because they, they have a Stone Forge plan, too. Um, they have a lot of cards to cut, honestly. I'm kind of like, Warchief's pretty good, too. Shave like a Matron, maybe. Sling Gang's also kind of like, just fine. It's not like super exciting. More Marshall quick. More Marshall's pretty good. I guess they're not blocking much. Um I could shave a War Marshall or two. I don't love shaving War Marshall, but Patrick Bond seems actually awesome in this matchup. So you can keep pinging the one ones. I'm gonna land, honestly. They're not gonna waste anything us at all. We just have like we're cutting a lot of our expensive stuff anyway. It's kind of like a mountain. Uh, I gotta cut three more cards. Jeez. I guess I'm scared of Plague Engineer. So maybe I should lower the uh, our vulnerability to Plague Engineer. Um, let's see, maybe we should cut the War Marshals. Shave a matron. I'm not really sure, honestly. Kind of tough. I think we're in good shape, though. They're just playing a four color deck where all of our wastelands and ports are really good. We have a ton of good sideboard cards. Like, yeah, sure, this is great. Keep all day, every day. What's up, Coco? What's up, Lexi? A goblin that gives all goblins unearth? I don't think so. Is there? That's like a cool card. Get bad lands, the baddest of lands. Lucky. We have Tarfire Muxus too on the play. No. Force is usually not very good against goblins, but we didn't draw Cavern of Souls. Uh, now we're gonna lose probably. That's what, they have Vile too. Uh, they have Nomads in core, sure. They exiled a brainstorm. Sure. What's up, Mart? How's it going, my friend? Welcome to Mog Monday. All right. We'll see if we're Tarfire in the Nomad or not. I'm not sure if we are yet. Probably are. It's a pretty easy thing, easy, easy, easy thing to kill a gem bomb, though. And the Tarfire kills Stoneforge Mystic, too, so... There's a sliver that gives all slivers on Earth. Yes, that is true. All right. I mean, you're probably just porting this turn. Sure. Hello. One of your lucky viewers today deserves some P-I-L-E-D-R-I-V-E-R swag. Cheers and much love from Strong Island. Awesome! We were a giveaway for a free Coalesce Goblin shirt. Damn, that's awesome. Thanks so much. We'll do the, we'll do the promo right now. Do it right now. Playing a tournament. Playing in a tournament. JD Greenridge. Green, green. I'm ending, a, ending an R. 
Uh, we're playing Tournament Splash Qualifier. Bam! March 20th, I'm playing. Nicole's playing. It's going to be a fun tournament. It's going to be historic. Check it out. It's already on my schedule. Teddy! New sub. What's the name? Thanks so much. Do we do a giveaway? Give it right now. Get that giveaway going. We'll do it. We'll give it. A, we'll give it away at the end of the match. Um, that's great. Thank you. Thank you, my friend. I appreciate that. Uh, we can like matron, but I'm not even sure if we're like interested in matroning. Yet. Type the word "awesome" with no period in chat for your chance to win your own pile driver shirt. Check it. Check it, check it, check it. All right. Um, I think we're going to port them and tar fire the stone forge when they cast it. I'm not sure if I'm majoring for yet. You can enter right now. Type the word awesome in chat. YouTube folks, you got to come to stream sometimes. The excitement's always on stream. We're gifting subs too. Holy cow. All new subs on Discord. Let's go, pile drivers. Let's go, pile drivers. Port, port, port. Be any combat? I don't have anything? But I want a tar fire harvester. Crack and a fetch, sure. Awesome in chat. The word awesome in chat. Drop. Cavern of Souls. Core. Living Wish. Sure. Cephalid Illusionists, sure. Uh, draw. Pyrokinesis, that's pretty good. Um, works against Shuko, not against this card. We can just like Matron and then Tarfire. It's probably, if they have, like, if they have a Force Will to defend the, the Tarfire, that could be a problem for us actually. I mean, we actually have Power Cases too. So, if Days in their deck too. Hmm. We should just Tarfire this right now. See if they force it or not. Play Matron. They can daze the Matron if they want to, I guess. Let's go. One of my viewers who plays wins the event. I'll buy them one each of the Pilot Driver swag items. One of my viewers who plays. Who oh, plays, plays in the event? Oh, they win the event. Sure. So if any, any viewer of the stream wins the event... They'll also get all the pile driver swag. That's awesome. Um, getting ringleader, I guess. Sweet. I'll put the word out in the, in the Discord. Maybe, I'll, maybe I'll, put, I'll, I'll, I'll put a bounty on my head too. If any pile driver beats me, I'll give away a prize too. What tier is Goblins and Legacy? I have not played enough Legacy to give you a good answer on that, honestly. Um, it's my first time playing Legacy like in a while. So, Stoneforge Mystic for Shuko. Shuko does not work against Power Crisis, so play Shuko, sure. All right, so equip Shuko to Stoneforge Mystic. We now have a Grizzly Bear. Build your own bear. Cavern of Souls. A Goblin. Okay, um, they have three cards in hand. We have Gem Palm and Pyrokinesis to break up Illusionist Shuko. They have two other cards in hand that could be counter magic. Um, because you can't counter Gem Bomb. So you could cast Ringleader here, but that would require tapping out of Gem Bomb. Their combo is very complicated, yes. It requires like casting a bunch of, whole, a bunch of stuff, the graveyard, it requires a lot of pieces for sure. All right, we're just gonna say go and port them. Kind of therapy too, so. Shuko. That word mucks that I did, right? Yeah, okay. They're gonna cast the illusionist, sure. 
They're going to attempt to equip the Illusionist. We're going to respond by cycling Jump Bomb Incinerator. Kill the Illusionist, which will also trigger the targeting. So they mill Ponder, Illusionist Brainstorm. They fetch. What is this? They can't kill my Goblin response, can they? Wow. All right, well, don't have Dage or something like that, please. I'm going to get scared to keep, keep Muxus. Don't daze me. Got him. Get off my plane. Land, 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 Let's go, Muxus. Oh, that wasn't that good. That wasn't that good, actually. That's okay. It's two turn clock, whatever. What's up, Skip? Deck requests. Your deck live is not open yet. Um, I know I've been saying it's opening soon. I am working on it, not as we speak, but in the background. Um, the YouTube channel's up. I'm going to get me ha having uh, introduction videos made and stuff. I, I got to have time to do it. I don't want to open your deck live and not have time to do it, have to close it, or limit people's limit people's uh, access. We're, we're getting there, folks. I, I know I keep saying it, but we're getting there. <laughs> All right? We win. Yay. Working on a lot of stuff. I'm working on a lot of stuff. While also trying to stream full-time and work on the house full-time. So it is very, very time-consuming. Time, time, time. They can wish for Plague Engineer, probably. So, yes. Um, although, I have good news. Nicole and I are going on vacation. Having not been out of this house for the last year, uh, um, we, uh, I, I booked a really cool vacation for me and Nicole. It's this cool thing where you buy, like, a pod in the woods. And you just, like, it's like a hotel room in the woods. But it's also, like, camping at the same time. Um... And uh, it's really, really cool. And I booked it. We're going uh, 25th, 24th, 25th, 25th, 26th. Totally socially distanced. You never see anybody. You're just in the woods. It's going to be really, really cool. So I, I need a freaking vacation. <laughs> Good God, somebody kill me. All right. Um, we, can, uh, we can keep this. We got lagging. Yeah, it's going to be really cool. So I think a regular Goblins build without this new combo package is better than in Modern. Um... I think if I were to play a modern tournament, I would play regular goblins, not combo goblins, but I'm not confident in that decision. So, all right. So, Goblin Lackey is here and ready to play. We have Trash Master for Shuko. I guess if they just have if they just have turn two illusionist here, we just lose. Oh my god, we're gonna lose turn two illusionist. This is so stupid. This is so stupid. All right, you win. They just happen to draw the one Shuko naturally and the Illusionist, and we have no way to stop that. It's so stupid. Hello, darkness, my old friend. All right, fine, you win. Pretty lame. They have literally one Shuko in their deck, but sure. All right, uh, like that game was like over if it just didn't kill us on turn two. Usually, usually they kill on turn three. I guess I could have had the one drop too, but whatever, whatever, whatever. Let's go. If you want to win a Pile Driver shirt, type awesome in chat. You have 30 seconds. You must be present to win. You must follow the stream to win. And um, yeah, let's do it. Let's go. Awesome in chat. Giving away a Pile Driver shirt. Pile Driver's shirt. Let's go. Again, this is courtesy of a Splash Qualifier, and uh, I'll be playing this on the 20th Big Historic event. Should be really, really cool. Um, I retweeted it. All the info is on there, of course. And uh, you should play in the tournament. It's going to be a lot of fun. Splash Qualifier, $500 on the line, and a qualification for uh, an end-of-the-year tournament. It's really, really cool. And uh, there's your prize pool. Check it out. Let's go. Awesome in chat. Big winner in chat. <laughs> And the winner is Sludig99. Sludig, you have one minute to claim your prize. 
One minute to claim your prize. I'll put that copy. To, I'll put the uh, tournament in the chat too. There you go. Check that out. We're on the draw with a pretty bad hand. Um, realistically, Goblin Lackey on a draw never, ever, 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 ever hits. So, we're going to mulligan. On the play, I would keep that. The sand's like kind of worse, but I think we're going to keep it. We have a one drop and a gem bomb and a wasteland. So, we're going to keep this ship matron. Not a very good hand here. Not a very good hand. Why are you going to draw Aether Vial? It's my favorite legacy deck that I would love to play, but I don't have a budget for. I mean, I can play whatever I want. I mean, I, you know, I've got online, I have loan accounts, and then in paper, I have channels I can ask to borrow cards and so on and so forth. So, it's not really been an issue for me, honestly. Um, nor a thing I've thought about. All right, here we go. Turn two kill. Stupid turn two kill on the play last game. Delta go. All right. Don't stifle me. Don't stifle me. Oh my god, don't do it. No. 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 Who plays stifle? God. Go back to your shanties. Oh no! I I was I I'm contact, the winner winner contacts me because I believe that, that that donation was intended to pay for the the shirt. So go back to your shanties. Stupid like rug delver. Wait, what freaking year is it? Right, we we obviously can't win this game as we have no uh, we have nothing. So um, I think our best course here is to wasteland them. Hope I so hope I have lands. Oh, ah! I see you have wastelands. Um, we're gonna vile. Don't force me. They can't daze, so. God, this is a force too. Get out of here. Get out of here. God, sicko. Sadek, um, message me on do you have Twitter? This is a huge downside to playing black in this deck. It's so bad against Wasteland. Um, they like stifle me again. All right, message me on here, man. That's fine. Pitches us to stifle the force. Wow. They'll stifle me again. It's the third stifle. Get get out of here. Just go away. Go away. They have one card left. Stifle in 2021. I know, right? Probably brainstorm, sure. Yeah, super outplayed here. Super outplayed. Stupid Aether Vial. Stupid Force of Will. Stupid Stifle. What's up, Bag? I want an open blank Stifle in my deck. Back in my day, though, we called it Bug Delver. My favorite number? Uh, 84. Um, Alright. I mean, the good news is that, like, they're kind of stuck because they can't attack a Tarmogoyf as long as they have a Lackey in play and they only have two cards in hand. So hopefully they just don't have a, another creature to play. And we'll just play Brosman. We'll play, we'll play the port, I guess. We could actually just, maybe just hold, hold the port because they're just going to waste it no matter what. But maybe we should have held it, actually. Probably should have held it. Nah, yeah, probably should have held it. They're going to end step it. Obviously, they're going to end step it. Folks, don't do this. There's no reason to end step a Wasteland or any ability, but it doesn't cost mana. You end step things to save mana that would have been wasted. So there's no reason to do it on your opponent's end step. Draw your card for the turn and see what you got. Can you threshold? Well, I, I mean, that, that, that's the that's teamer, right? Look at this! What a rousing start, and they just don't have anything to follow up with here. We're gonna hold this um, and just say go. Yeah.
Brainstorm, sure. Typically, uh, usually like a, I think a slightly favored matchup for goblins, like back in the day. But that's when goblins was playing also only mono red, and things were pretty different back then. Back in my day. Brainstorm, Misty, sure. Yep. No attacks, still. Pathetic. Pathetic. Oh my god, come on. Just say go, I mean, like, you can't do anything. Um... Hopefully their hand just like all spell pierces and dazes. Now nah, we, we died on turn two to the combo deck on the turn two on the play in game three. Pretty sick. Pretty sick. Bayou, this is Sultai. Hmm. Abrupt decay, my lackey. Alright, we're just gonna cycle this gem bomb and try to draw some lands here. Okay. To start, I guess. My kingdom for a Mog War Marshal. My kingdom. Everything I own. Send a PM here on, on Twitch. Okay, thank you. Next turn we can play Cavern and then cast Ringleader, and they can't kill it to, to kill us, probably. Maybe they can. Ah, come on. All right. I mean, the fact that we were, like, actually in this game, we drew some lands, despite the insane opening, was pretty cool, I guess. But now we're just dead. We have no outs. It's Mogwar Mar Martial or Bust. It's like this little format. Uh, yeah. You're, you're, we're playing it right now. It's not played that often, I guess, but here we are. All right, here up. So we got double chump here. They wasteland us. We draw Marshall. Maybe there's a chance to kind of keep going, but all right. Upstairs. Yeah, so tough game. Obviously, um, Landrox is pretty good against goblins, and unfortunately, we're playing black, so we can't play our wasteland super well. But all right, so we get to bring in our relics. Um, not much else. I don't really think I want pyrokinesis um, or needle. Double shape muxus. Yeah, shady. Thank you. Appreciate it. You great. Um, surgical for their stifles. <laughs> they have spells on their deck, board and surgical, right? Um, crater makers okay. I want things that are cheap. Sling gangs, pretty mopey. Oh, they probably have play, like they probably have the. Uh, play, they have plague engineer too. It's pretty tough. 
Typically, these sorts of matchups are like pretty good for goblins, unless they have like an engineer plague effect, in which case they get really bad because we can't block anymore. Shave something that's bad against plague engineer. Sorry, matron, I guess. All right, it's okay. Pile driver isn't great, but it does get around plague engineer, um, and it like stays in play for your stuff. So come, what is this? What is this? Tarfire does buff Goist. Yes, it's not ideal, but historic goblins and realm walker. Realm walker is just pretty bad. Doesn't seem very good. I don't think that, that what goblins need is more grind in historic. All right, so we're gonna mulligan this hand. It's pretty bad. We should draw an Aether Vial. Is that possible? We haven't had Aether Vial once in any of these games. Um, we can't keep this hand. It's freaking terrible. Like, <sighs> All right. Goodbye, Pile Driver. Goodbye. Probably Expert. It's so hard to even get black mana. It's pretty bad, folks. It's pretty bad. Not ideal, not ideal. Underground Sea, ponder. Let's see a shuffle here. No shuffle. So we're wasting. Um, we've got nothing going on, so. Hoping they get mana screwed, good, 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 good course of action. Underground C number two. Thought C's. I mean, okay, sure. Lackey. Uh, I guess we're gonna lackey. Sure. I don't wanna expose my cavern of souls though. They wanna force my lackey. Sure, whatever, you know. We can port them to keep them off of Plague Engineer. Bayou. All down on the bayou. They have five cards in hand. So we're one off casting Moxus. That's kind of cool. All right, sure. What's up, Pete? No, we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna draft tomorrow. All right, so we just say go and port their blue. Not both port the green because the green doesn't have instance in it, so they can like brain summer response. So let's do this and just draw a land next turn so we can mux us. Damn it! Are right, they way side of the port, not the cavern? Um, and they probably board out some of their uh, stuff. Warchief with no way to cast it. Oh, man. I mean, we're probably getting Plague Engineer next turn. I'm going to cast this freaking Warchief. I have five cards in hand. Mulligans hurt a lot in matchups like this. My six drop, idiot. And you're up. Now our cavern's gone too, they can just counter the Muxus. Pretty bad. They should board an apple Muxus, honestly. Probably a pipe dream. Yeah. Pretty fun end to our, our, our Mog Monday here. Just mulligan to five, getting plague engineered. We managed to play an entire league without drawing Aether Vial on turn one once, which is actually insane. Uh, but. Black Horizon, there is currently, even though that the Arena Qualifier this weekend is Sealed Deck, I believe there's no way to currently play Sealed Deck on MTG Arena. Somebody's playing a prank on me. Which is ridiculous. 
ridiculous. I either vile turn one a few games ago. I don't think I did. Maybe I did. It's a better story if I didn't, though. This really is a boomer league. Jeez. They're just playing freaking Dreadnought <laughs> Stifle. Okay, you win. What year is it? That that combo hasn't been good in like a decade or or longer. So not a very good league. Uh we went two and three. Uh we lost some kinda kinda crappy stuff. We mulliganed a lot. Uh we got turned two by that stupid deck. Uh um definitely a rough league. Definitely a rough league. I think I would change this deck. I don't know if I like Lackey's list very much. Um I don't know if I like the black. Honestly, um, I don't know. Maybe I'll work on it. I'll, 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 I'll play, play my own legacy list on a future episode of Mog Monday. Uh, you just need your lands. As you saw in that game, the games you don't have Vile or Lackey online, you got to cast your spells. You got to make land drops, you know? And having to fetch up a bad lands for a black card you might or might not cast is like, it's not okay. So, um, Mog Monday, YouTube folks, like, comment, subscribe, episode 37, 37. 73 of Mod Monday, and I'll see you fine folks next week. Maybe we'll have the intro waiver next week. Maybe we won't, but look for it, all right? Also, YouTube folks, look for more, look for more content. Check out my article on CoolStuffInc.com today. I play Simic. That's the wrong wrong site. Wrong site. Simic Blue. Simic, Simic Crab Mill. Super fun video. It starts off rough, and it really picks up at the end. Check it out uh, on CoolStuffInc.com, all right? JF, thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. What's anywhere you're from? YouTube books. I love you. Like, comment, subscribe.